Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to deal with null or error values when you unpivot data in Power Query. So I'll start with the error values first and then go to the null values. So we have an example here where we have some null, some error values here in the table. We're going to bring this into Power Query. So first I'll turn this into a table, go to insert table, and yes my table does have headers. I'm not going to give it any names. I'll bring it into Power Query now. Under data, from table and range, the Power Query editor will come up and we would need to replace those errors. You see that the errors do show up now. You have these errors. So maybe with these errors, we really don't need to see them in our end product, our final table. We just don't want to see these errors there because they have no significance for us. So all we need to do is just turn those errors into no values. So I'll select the first column press the shift key so I can multi-select and press the last column go under transform under the any column grouping replace values replace errors and with the errors I'm just going to replace them with nulls so what's going to happen is when I unpivot these columns the nulls will get suppressed they'll just kind of not be available for the end product I have these columns still selected right click and select unpivot columns. So you see that they're unpivoted now. We have Jan three, I, three rows for January, one row for February, because if you've noticed, in February, we had two errors, one for item two and item three, so only item one will show up. Bring this back here, and with this now, I could just retitle this, double click that, I'll call this item, that's the value there, and go to home, close and load, load to, let's bring this into a table and I'll put it into the same worksheet, existing worksheet, we'll put it over here in cell G1, click OK, and we have our items for our months. As I mentioned before, there's only one item in February which has a value, the rest turned into errors, I don't want to bring those into my final table. So that's if we have errors, but what if we wanted to keep the items here? And what we can do is those could become null values and we could keep those null values. So I'll do the same thing here. Go to insert table, turn this into a table, click OK, and under data, go to from table. As it brings it into Power Query, I'm going to change those errors into null values and we'll take it from there. Let's pretend that those null values were there. Well, actually, let's do it a little diff differently. Instead of having them come in already as errors, close that, and we'll just discard this. Instead of these errors already, let's say that they were blank values. So press delete, and delete this, and delete this. And we're going to just bring these in, and they'll show up as null values. Go under data, from table, and Power Query Editor will come up again, and you'll have these values within those cells and they're going to come brought in as null values because they're blank and as those are null let's say that we wanted to bring those in let's see what happens when we unpivot that shift select the last column right click unpivot columns let's see what happens to February so you see that February has disappeared the same as we had before earlier right if we wanted to keep those rows for February and just indicate that they're blank, we can do that. Let's delete that step. And we have these null values and we just want to change them to zero. So shift, select the last row, go under transform, we'll replace our values, and we'll replace the nulls with zeros. So the zeros will show up when you do the unpivot and we'll just change them back to nulls afterwards. So we're going to place this with a zero. Click OK. And you can see now they've turned into zeros. I have my columns still selected. Right click, go to unpivot columns, and we have our zeros here. And all we need to do is select it, replace values, and turn them back into nulls. So we have our zeros here. We turn them back to nulls. Click OK. And we have our attribute, we rename this one, double click item, press enter, go to home, close and load. Let's load into our worksheet here. 
and select table, existing worksheet. Let's put it into cell G1 again. Click OK. And now we have our February rows. And with our February rows, the blanks that went into Power Query did not disappear because they were nulls. They reappeared back as empty. So if we wanted to keep those blank rows to show that, hey, there was nothing there, but we still wanted to indicate for items two and three for, for February, we are still tracking that, we can have this. We just turn the nulls into blanks or nulls into zeros and then back into nulls. So these are the ways that you can deal with either errors or null values when you're trying to unpivot data in Power Query. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.